Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, Deb Snell's 40th World. And I didn't know if I wanted to do a messy plane ride or was I wanting to tell somebody business. So, I think it's going to be a little bit of both. Like, why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Why not? Because I can, can, and I can, 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 and I can, can, and I will. And it's going to be messy plane, messy plane, messy plane, messy plane. Okay, we just got to do a little messy, messy, messy on top of that, telling somebody's business. Because I am just here to tell you. I don't know what is going on with Portia Williams. Now, I was minding my own business. And y'all know I don't really like to come, you know, and, and, and get on folk. But when I have to get on, I have to get on them. So, like I said, it's going to be kind of messy, 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 messy. Now, <coughs> I don't know if y'all are familiar with a YouTuber by the name of Nine Mag TV, But I want y'all to go over there to the channel so y'all can see what kind of mess I'm talking about. Um, when it comes to Portia Williams, I'm gonna play some of the audio from his video, but it was quite disturbing. I said Portia's going downhill, and she's going downhill fast, and she's using a substance called alcohol, all right, to drain her emotions or dull her senses. I don't know which one, but it seemed like after she put this book out, and after she put that pilot show out that Bravo helped her to create, uh, Portia Family uh, Matters. It seemed like she's on a downward spiral. And I could see Dennis coming for her. And coming for total custody of baby PJ. And the reason why I say that is because of her actions. Which, like I said, uh, go on 9 and the number 9, MAG, M-A-G, TV. And you're going to see something that says Simon Gaboria and Portia Williams get cozy at the bar. <coughs> now, we all know. Portia thought she was going to be doing real good or somebody told her she was going to be doing real good. So she quit off her normal paying jobs, which was Bravo and Dish Nation. Okay, hopefully she's still peddling her, um, her, what do you call those sheets that she was selling? And maybe she's still with Fab.com with that uh, accessory shop to buy boots and, and shoes and stuff of that nature. I don't know. But Portia was one to be reckoned with. She had it all in the palm of her hands. She had recognition <coughs> on the shows that she was on, but the show she was on, as well as um, she did a pilot, something called Sharknado. Uh, she did a little cameo pilot trying to get her acting skills developed. And I don't know why she didn't just continue to formulate uh, creating something in that field or not. That's what it is, Sharknado. Uh, it's on a, a sci-fi channel or whatnot. <coughs> but she was really doing her thing. She was appearing on different magazines. People were liking her, wanting her to endorse their products, and all this nice stuff. And now it's just like she's in Shitsville. And I am I am disappointed. Because like I said, I was a uh I was a viewer of her shows and I liked her personality. But like I said, I don't know where Diane went wrong with this woman uh what she calls a woman because miss gina gonna get her straight and definitely she's gonna have her granddaughter in good graces because she don't want her granddaughter being seen in and any kind of way out there and she's um really getting into her son's head a lot too like look at look at what your girlfriend your baby mama doing on social media and i'm telling you in that video that i saw last night uh-uh it gave me chills and it gave me somebody need to do something with portia because this is not normal behavior this is not something what a 40 year old does i mean you like social media that bad you got to show us everything you do on social media social media even when it doesn't even look right i mean if you had to go in front of a judge to um seek custody or be a, a, a person who has to come to court because you're uh, baby daddy done brought you to court to answer these questions and he had that video it would show you incoherent it would show you out of uh, your normal behavior and it would show you like you have no self-control on what you're doing on the outside world so if you're drinking who's to say you're not drinking 24 7 and would you be a good mother for your child if you're constantly being entertained with parties and and with your fiance and all that he want to do is drink and then you got your a baby daddy over here trying to have wealth in his businesses and still trying to maintain a relationship with your family as well as his now Portia, you busted you're drinking too much baby and that is 
could be seen as a substance abuse and it's not going to look good and then it's going to be like it's time up baby you know show me what you can do with this new relationship so i think you need to bring the reins on over to me and let me raise pj full time and you have visitation rights and how Portia been acting out there no one could blame dennis i mean they were the perfect couple until you know he cheated but i'm like girl the man owns several hot dog factories okay i don't know who that man is but he just may be a patron <coughs> but we can see and dennis is showing and prove where he he's working at every day and what he got going on i didn't include his uh crew lounge but everybody knows he has another several establishments you know of a little lounge or hookah lounge and stuff like that so he's showing and proving we know where he's getting his income but you have yet to show us about your other mate the man you call your fiance but we call him a glorified boyfriend he i mean even in that video he was not even trying to help you out you fell on the flow you got back up laughing like it was you know a joke or something and everybody's probably looking at you like what now i know dennis when you were with dennis y'all didn't do all this stuff and he probably told you don't do that don't put that on social media and you know he was very adamant about it but um bro man over him he don't like he care he 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 wants you to make a fool like yourself because if he loved you this is what i'm talking about y'all go on nine mag tv he still has it up it's posted and you can see he looked like he drunk don't he look like he drunk and portia she don't you know she looked kind of um in this photo shot that he made she looks kind of suspect but honey when you see her fall on that flow and she getting up talking all this mess it's just crazy but that left picture look like he is too drunk and he's even telling her shout out to straight from the a um michelle brown's channel go and check her out she's a good tv blogger as well as youtube blogger and you know she's on point so if you like to love her gotta have more go check her out <coughs> until i sent you but yeah i mean he just looked drunk as a skunk and i mean even when dennis drank you know he know how to hold his liquor and if it, anything is being filmed or he's you know in his own little filming on his social media he don't look like he finna pass out he don't look like he can't hold his liquor he's not acting out of his demeanor it's just like he's in chill mode you know what i'm saying and i'm like what better person for him to um to have didn't have him raise child because Portia don't lost her damn mind I don't know if she's trying to recoup from way back in the day or trying to find, find her glory years but it's just crazy and then y'all well not all of y'all but some of y'all be like don't tear no black woman down don't do this, this. see that's what I'm saying she tearing her own self down but nobody want to have the guts and the balls to call her out on her bullshit that's why when I see shit like that, I don't like it and I put it out there. Hopefully that she would have a clue and change. Okay, or her stance, her Porsche stance, people. Hold her accountable because she's not looking right out in these streets. And if you had a business and you wanted to think about having her, would you do second guess after you've seen the video I'm telling you about? Would you second guess? Would you put her on your product for her to sell when most people are going to say, that's a drunk that she has a child and everything but it seems like she's partying and carrying on and, and throwing culture to the wind you can't do that when you're a parent and she's 40 years old why is she acting like she's in um college days or something everything is a party 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 and it's not that's not the real world that's not real life and some people were in the comments saying well you know give her a break because she's having a mama day out a mama day out is eating you know at a nice restaurant being wine denied by your man and if y'all want to take in some scenes you know at a movie or whatever that's cool too but my daughter had said something they had just came from a house game now okay if you're at the house game you got plenty of alcohol just that and third i'm pretty sure they partake now you had to go to a bar or after hours lounge or something and get more alcohol and then simon even said you know well let's go i think he said let's go to the club or something she was like she don't want to go to the club she want to stay right there drinking and then she's asking where's her drink <coughs> like the person on came and took her drink or refreshed it and didn't bring it back or something but she worried about her drink and so i'm like okay well well let's go watch a movie at home and then she's like, okay well i'll go home i'm like why are you even giving her an ultimatum when you the man you saying we, we finna go we finna go you know we don't have enough and technically you should have took her home after that house game after y'all probably got something eat had a nice meal and with your with your butts on home because it's not fair that portia constantly use her mother as a um a babysitter i mean no monday through friday 
you know, you 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 be at home. You be doing what you got to do. Help your child learn her one be, her one two threes ABCs or whatever her shapes, colors, whatever. And then Saturday and Sunday you get to have that time. So you need two days for yourself for you and your man. You need one to go get yourself mentally straightened out, hang out with your girls or whatever. And then you have that other day to hang out with your husband. But again, he's not your husband now, is he? He's your boyfriend. So you know, balance it out. But definitely, we on we. The viewers of your life or viewers of your show or whatever you got going on we don't have to see every little bit of your life and right now it's like you miss that you miss somebody behind a camera videotaping your every move i knew something wrong in that book when you were playing it's not puppeteer but you was playing like you was a host or guest selling items and you had your animals and your dolls being the participants like they're buying stuff <coughs> from you so that started at a very early age almost kind of like grooming like nobody should have gave you no cam quarter girl because you just like whatever happened to her dog y'all I, I wonder whatever happened to it can y'all tell me put them in the comments but you know it's just like you love being filmed it's like if nobody's putting a a camera on you you can't exist in this world and that is so sad but how i see you're spiraling out this is going to be your next residence for a while because it may be court ordered or dennis may sign on for it to be court ordered because you're you're partaking too much of the alcohol and your demeanor in public is just not correct i mean you you were hollering at simon and see y'all remember Lindsay lohan she was you know pretty much like portia smiling out of control and the judge ordered her behind and she was younger than portia to go and seek help and yes you can see they have nice amenities they have a pool they have you know <laughs> a nice uh, room for you it's not really geared to i guess one-on-one -on -one or just one personal room you got a sharing room signing and, and god knows how much the price is to have you there for a month or two depending on <coughs> how you're doing because you know they have several clinics but i just thought it would be befitting for portia to probably partake of the beverly hills one because she thinks she's all that in bag of chips as well okay but this is where I can certainly see Portia ending up because she's not doing anything to help herself. I've seen her on a few uh, talk shows where she didn't carry herself really well. It's like her thought pattern wasn't really catching up to the interview questions. And these, you see, uh, famous people, they had trouble. I could have listed a lot more and that's a little cozy room you'll be staying in. Um, but I didn't think it was necessary. I think I proved my point to all of this negative stuff that you're doing and you're taking in all this negative stuff which you brought to yourself with the fail failure of that portrait family matters as well as your book and you're drinking alcohol to basically uh dull you from whatever the press is saying whatever the media is saying whatever the bloggers are saying because everything is negative and you think they're attacking you. But I'm like, you put the mess out there. It's like, do you not have a PR person? Do you not have a person that sticks with you and covers everything that you need to say, do when it comes to meeting your public? When, meaning when you step out on them streets, wherever you are, you are definitely on camera in a sense. People are filming you when you're not knowing that they're filming you. Uh, you have to look aesthetically or pleasing, just like you, you normally do. You come out looking fabulous. <coughs> I can't say that. <coughs> but nobody's working with you on the ideas of what you need to be saying, how you need to approach the questions that you're going to be answered. Or even if they try to throw one under the bus, you would still know how to answer it. But I've seen you lately, and it's not a good look. And I was very shocked that they didn't mention anything about your book well, not your book, but your show that you were on recently. Because it was an epic fail. Because if it wasn't so, and you thought it did real good for your numbers, and you were getting paid, bank, and all that kind of stuff, and probably getting a spinoff, you would have said something about it. Or you would have gave it okay for them to mention something about it. But you didn't. Okay. So, I'm like, girl, if Dennis is really not paying attention, Mama Gina is paying attention. All right. She don't have to respond on somebody else's platform which was mag tv but i'm sure someone had sent her that information and lo and behold they could see y'all drunk 
don't care about anything and i'm glad y'all probably didn't go back to call yourself handling pj and i'm like when did simon ever have his other girlfriends or wives out here looking like he got you looking okay tell me y'all can go crazy but go crazy in your own privacy you know don't put everything on social media you ain't have no reason to turn on your camera phone and start recording yourself at at the bar that you were at and everybody could tell you were lit all right and you were out of control and that's one thing you do if you're gonna have alcohol and you're gonna be out of control of your normal behavior that's a, a good case for a dui for you get in that car get in you know drive on an influence because both of y'all look like y'all were drunk y'all should both should have took an uber to tell you the truth because simon looked like he was smashed and that's just scary because y'all could have got in a bad situation, a bad accident. Then you have a mothers against drunk driving on your behind. And then you're going to go to jail. <clears throat> and, and it's just going to be an ongoing negative press for you. And I just cannot believe, I just don't understand why you keep putting yourself into it. And why your so-called stance or family uh fans or whatever they want to stick up for you why they're not telling you this you know what i'm saying when you when they jump on um the, your platform why not i say baby you need to go home cut this live off you're not looking good and maybe she would get a clue but how well she did say y'all knows it which y'all will hear when i play the um clip and we just gonna get in the clip now so y'all can kind of understand where i was going with it but definitely go over to uh nine mag tv and in the description of the title of that video was simon gabadia and portia williams get cozy at the bar and of course tell them dale chanel 48th world sent you over there let's see if i can speak this up a little bit sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But she's screen she's streaming this from her phone. And then she asked Simon what was the girl's name that did her nails. Like he know. <clears throat> That's crazy. Now she's looking for a drink. And that's when she fell on the floor she was trying to sing which i'm like where is her vocal experience but y'all really gotta go see it I don't want to go to the club. I'm going to stay right here. 
And that was it, y'all. She talking about she, she, he told her it's time to go bedtime, and she was like, I, I don't, I don't want to go to the club. I'm like, he didn't ask you that, honey. That's how crazy you are. But yeah, that was um, I don't know if it would be a treat for people or it would be an eye opening experience. I'm sure it's an eye opening experience for Dennis' mom and for her to get litigation allegedly on Portia because it's it's just too much. She doing too much, too fast, too soon, and she don't know. Uh, the things that she can lose just by putting stuff like that up for it to get walking legs where it can take it to another whole avenue of trouble that she never anticipated because she called herself having a fun night out with her boyfriend <coughs> okay and then he was not really trying to check her and say baby don't put that on uh, social media you got enough trouble already i know they say press is all good or bad doesn't matter people still got your uh name in their mouth and they're talking about you but some things you don't want to put out there you see what i'm saying especially if you want lucrative deals to come with uh good stock uh advertisers and when i say good stock i mean people like louis vuitton uh tiffany and company um uh, nordstrom's you know big retailers that they want to push their product and they want to use you as a spokesperson they ain't gonna look at you if they find some clips or somebody in their media department find clips of you acting the fool out in the public and you definitely you know had too much to drink they don't want that representation for that company nor that look so i'm like girl portia get it together before you find yourself without your child your only child at that where you're going to be visiting uh and not have no type of custody because you're going to be deemed as an unfit mother if you keep putting stuff out in the public eye like that stuff and then you fall into the flow they ain't gonna want you uh being no uh custodian over no child not louis pj you see what i'm saying girl get yourself together for life get it together for you and the judge be telling you what you can and what you cannot do. And who is permitted uh, to surround you while you have visitation rights on your own daughter. I mean, you will not like this until you met this man, Simon. I mean, he's going to drag you all the way down in the gutter. Because he ain't got nothing to lose. you just his girlfriend. You're not allegedly on his house he just purchased. He can take them cars back unless he just gifted it to you. And you got it signed that he can't take it back if the relationship don't go any further. I mean, and then look how he's letting you act in public. That's not a man that loves his wife or girlfriend. And he's treating her like a queen. I mean, you already had drinking problems um, from the beginning of your early adulthood. That's all you want to do. A party, party, party all the time. Party all the time. Party all the time. My girl wants to party all the time. Party all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Simon's saying. But he ain't saying, I'm going to take her to the boardroom. She's going to be signing all my important documents. She is my CFO of my companies. He's not going to put you in that type of uh, position, Portia. Okay, he just has you like a trick, pretty much. And to get access to other elite people i guess or just a ritual girl tell us are you trying to clam the ranks uh of the freemasons or i mean what are, what are we trying to do what are we trying to do portia okay are we trying to go with the aristocrats and do all these strange things for change next thing we're gonna find you over in dubai doing things that you not you never thought you would to stay in the status and stay likable in the industry what is going on with you girl that's just my conspiracy theory mind working at overtime. But I mean, this fairy tale dream you thought it had it with Cordell. But he was on Steve Harvey's show, you know, pretty much turning you out in a negative way. Like, nah, she knew this. She knew our marriage wasn't going to work. And I don't know. <clears throat> if you want to take the time to go out there and find that interview with Steve Harvey when he came out talking about Porsche and he, Porsche's line and this, that, and the third, it just is what it is. I mean, you forgave Cordell, but you wouldn't forgive Dennis. And then Dennis told you straight up, he was not ready for a tie-down relationship. He gave you the truth up front, but you couldn't accept that. You wanted to wrap this man up, similar to the man that you wanted to wrap up in your book, uh, to marry you. You had did everything. You didn't let the man try to woo you a little more, court you a little more, and pick the ring that he wanted for you. You had went and did all that. 
And of course he got crazy on your behind. Because you spending his credit spending money on his credit card. That was something he probably did not want you to do. And it probably was some serious money you were dropping down on that promise ring, which I'm pretty sure looked like probably was looking like an engagement ring, more than likely. But that's just how Portia life has been spinning out of control. I'm like, girl, you are more likable somewhat on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And some would on Dish Nation, and I could tolerate you. But right now, ever since you made that special and put out that book, girl, it's been a complete horror show. On your character, on your demeanor, and just you in essence. So you got to do right. You got to do better. And it's a time for you to wake up and smell the coffee. Look at the writing on the wall before Dennis and his mama use all of this press that you're giving to your so-called fans or viewers of your Instagram account before they put your behind in court. And then you're going to be really crying. And then you're trying to figure out why everybody hates you or, or why the, all this stuff is happening to you. And... I could say that man right there, smoking a cigar, trying to make you feel like you're back in your 20s. And he back in his 20s. And y'all are too far to be going back that far to be reminiscing. Okay, y'all need to be right where y'all are now. You in your 40s, he's in his 60s. Okay, even though he, I think you want to say he's 50 something. But he look all good and ready for 60. Okay. Y'all need to be playing y'all roles that y'all playing now. Because you don't see him out there, you know, really doing all this stuff. No, he just kiki, ha ha, laughing at your behind. That's what he's doing. And then, you being shown, you know, in bad light that you took somebody else's husband. But that don't faze you either. Just as long as you're living a life that you want to live. And that is the elite, rolling type luxury life. Okay. I guess your mama had breaded it in you. Oh, you need to marry rich. You need to marry well so you can just sit and look pretty all day. I'm like, are you a step for wife? Is that what you want to be? Controlled? Because it don't seem like you liked it that too much because you had that with Cordell. But I'm telling you, you keep going down this fragile road, breaking all the rules, throwing caution to the wind. You're going to end up right, right at that center right there. If anybody cares that much about you, that wanted to get you help, if not, then I guess you'll be on the street. I don't know. A lot of people from the industry have become uh, bombs or homeless and, you know, not kept well. And the families have disowned them and stuff because they can't help them anymore. So, I'm like, get it together, Portia, before somebody else get it together for you, baby girl. And that's all I got for this video, guys. <clears throat> and y'all can drop y'all comments and we can keep the dialogue going in the comments area y'all can tell me what y'all feel about what y'all saw on that video channel and what i had played the audio for you while it's kind of you, you have to really see the video before you can get a good um idea on subject matters what i'm talking about okay but i will see y'all next video as usual and y'all be blessed take care and pretty much chill out there think before you do stuff all right not to give myself the same thing thought talk sometime too all right but i love you guys and i'll see y'all next video bye bye